All right, drivers, um, I'm going to do an informational video on how to buy the cheapest fuel on your route. Now, most drivers are going to say, uh, you know, they just get it off the pump. You know, they, they check their fuel price, and whatever state has the cheapest fuel price at the pump, that's where they buy it. Well, that's not, that might not be the cheapest fuel. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to figure it out the right way so you're saving money. All right, so... Uh, we're going to do a, a trip from Effingham, Illinois to Memphis, Tennessee, and I'm going to use one of the apps on my iPad, and uh, I'll demonstrate that real quick, and then we'll go through the numbers. So hold on just a second. Hey, drivers, here we are with the iPad, so we, we click on the pilot app, all right, and you can do a trip planner. It's got a trip planner button there, okay? So in the first current location, we're going to X that out and we're going to put Effingham in there. Okay, and then we're going to click on the next one and then we're going to type in Memphis. Okay, and then we're going to hit the go button. And what that should do is it should plot all of the pilots and flying J's on our route. And there they all are. And we're going to scroll down here. And if you want to check one out, you just tap on it. And you tap on the information button, and that's going to show you the fuel price: 283.9 at the Effingham Pilot. Okay, and to save time, you know, you just go back and you can do that for every single one of them. All right, and to save time, I wrote down Missouri's 265.9, Arkansas's 289.9, Tennessee is 285.9. So most people would say oh, I'd buy it in Missouri because it's 265.9. And everywhere else is over 280. Well, yeah, that is cheapest at the pump, but that's not the cheapest price. Now I'm gonna show you how to figure out the cheapest price. Okay, so we're gonna get out of this pilot app right here. I'm gonna get out of that, and I'm gonna go all right to the internet, and I'm gonna go to iftach.org. Okay, and that's the fuel ifta tax agreement. And this is the current numbers, all right, for the tax rate. So what you got to do is Illinois. You go to Illinois, and there it is, and it's 42.7. So you got to take the 283.9 minus the 42.7 cents there, okay? And that's going to give you a, a price of $2.41.2, or two tenths, you know, 241.2. All right. So then you go down to Missouri. And Missouri was 265.9 on the pump. We go down to Missouri. And you take 17 cents off that 265.9 and you're left with 248.9. So right there, Missouri's cheaper by 18 cents on the pump than Illinois. But when you take the IFTA out of it, you're saving 7.7 .7 cents a gallon uh, when you buy it in Illinois instead of Missouri. So Illinois is your cheapest place to buy the fuel, even though it's more expensive at the pump. But you got to take the tax rate out. So if you guys have been buying it, like in Missouri and not in Illinois, you're losing money. Okay? So now we check Arkansas. So now we know Illinois is the best place so far. All right? We go here to Arkansas, and it's 22 and a half cents. Subtract that from 289.9, go up to 267.9 and four so so far illinois still is better now we go down to tennessee we scroll this down to tennessee tennessee 17 cents credit so we take that off of 285.9 and we're left with 258.9 so there you have it drivers illinois is the cheapest and then missouri comes in second and then tennessee comes in third and arkansas comes in last all right so Hold on just a second, and I'll flip the camera back around. All right, so there you have a driver. So it's really simple and easy. I'll have a link there to that uh, IFTA page. And uh, you can download that, print it out, keep it with you so that you can have quick reference. and uh, Or, you know, go to there on your phone and take a snapshot of it. So then what you want to do is look up the fuel prices on your, on your route, subtract your IFTA tax from that, and get and write down the price and then whichever price comes out the lowest that's where you want to buy your fuel because how it works is illinois for instance 
and make we'll make it really simple if you do 70 miles in illinois and you get seven miles of the gallon they're going to say you're supposed to buy 10 gallons of fuel in illinois and if you didn't purchase none there they're going to take the 10 gallons times the 42 7 and you're going to own four dollars and 27 cents for traveling in that state okay because you didn't buy no fuel there so what happens is if you bought it in Missouri because you thought it was cheaper on the pump and so you bought your fuel in Missouri and you over purchased 10 gallons all right you're gonna get 10 gallons times dollar 17 cents you're gonna get dollar 70 credit okay and that's gonna go towards Illinois well you're gonna owe Illinois 427 that dollar 70 don't cover it so you're still in the hole two dollars and you know 50 some cents or whatever so that's how it works so if you would have bought it in illinois and you over purchased 10 gallons let's say you bought 20 gallons 10 to cover illinois and you had 10 extra illinois is going to give you a credit of four dollars and 27 cents and you went through missouri and you're supposed to buy 10 gallons in there but you didn't because you bought it in illinois right so missouri's going to say you owe them a dollar 70. we have 427 credit from illinois so you still have you know two dollars and you know 57 cents credit so it means you still you don't owe nothing and if you drive through arkansas and you you had and you got two dollars 57 cent credit and you're supposed to buy 10 gallons let's say in arkansas also with their uh 22 and a half cents if to charge take 10 10 gallons you're supposed to buy there you don't owe them 225 you get 257 credit so you take that away so you still have 32 cents credit you know so the over purchase covers all those other states so you don't owe them anything so that's why it's the cheapest so you have to look at the chart it's really simple look at the chart write down the fuel tax for that state subtract it from what's on the pump and that's what you're paying for it so whatever comes out the cheapest that's where you want to buy your fuel I hope that uh, helps everybody out, and everybody have a safe trip, and we'll talk to you later.